everyone. Today we're going to be working on a Nicholas Krushnik inspired collage. Nicholas Krushnik is an artist who works with mostly primary colors and he also does a lot of non-objective artwork. That means artwork that doesn't have any pictures in it, no pictures of peoples, animals, or landscapes, just colors, shapes, lines, patterns, that kind of thing. So we're going to be doing something very similar. We're going to try to imitate his style just a little bit. So for this project you're going to want a nice large background paper. Um, I would pick a primary color, but you could also choose white if you wanted. Um, you're also going to want a variety of primary color slips of paper that you can cut up, that you can do different things with. Um, scissors, glue stick, and something to outline them with at the end. Um, black is the preference. Could be anything. You could use a Sharpie, you could use a marker, use a crayon, oil pastel. Literally anything will work. As long as you can outline with it, it will work. All right, let's get started. So. I've decided for my background to use yellow. That means um, any of the pieces I put on top are going to have to be some of the other primary colors. As you can see, if I put yellow on top of yellow, you're really not going to see it very well. Um, so yellow is probably not going to be used a whole lot as far as my scrap paper. I'm mostly going to be focusing on these other types of colors. So I'm going to think about how I can put these down. And before I do any gluing, I'm going to be playing around with the script uh, the scraps of paper that I have and think about where they should go. Should they go across the page completely? Should I have them peek in a little bit? I want them to um, crisscross each other? Do I want them to stay away from each other? Some of the lines could stop part way through the paper. Some can go all the way across. I have to think about what shapes are going to go where and how this is going to look when it all comes together. So I have some pre-cut circles here, I have some stripes, I even have some shapes with some zigzags. You can feel free to cut any of these pieces in whatever shape or size you want so that it'll work for you. Now as I said, yellow on top of yellow is not going to work very well because you're not going to be able to see it, but if I have um, put a space where I can put my on top of so that you can actually see it, then it will work. So you have to think about what you might want to do and where that's going to go. So don't try to think about turning these into faces or landscapes or anything like that. This is meant to just be um, focused on lines and shapes and patterns. So don't get yourself all um, sidetracked by trying to do something that's going to look like a face or something like that. That's not really the goal of this. So instead try to figure out where these pieces are going to go and how they're going to look when they all come together. And as you can see I have not glued anything down yet. So nothing has gotten glued yet. I have decided to just kind of play around with things until I know where I want them and how I want them to be. Once I've made my decision and I'm happy with my composition, now I'm going to start gluing things down. If I need to cut anything at this time, this would be the time to do it also. So let's get some gluing happening. down exactly where I want it. Now one thing you're going to notice is first of all when I did do the gluing I made sure I glued my actual piece so I actually put the glue on the back of the paper and then put it onto my background. I didn't glue the background and then stick a piece on top. The reason why is I want to make sure I get glue completely on my paper that I'm gluing down especially on the edges. A lot of people like to put glue right in the middle. You really don't need glue in the middle. You need it on the edges. That is the most important to have the glue so that it'll really stick down and not go flying off. Um, so that's one thing. Um, secondly, you're going to see these little pieces that are flying off the paper. So we don't want those scraps there. So here's what you're going to do. I'm going to flip my project over and I can see peeking out parts that I don't want that need to get cut off. And this is where you're going to take your scissors if you haven't already used them and you're going to just carefully cut off anything that's sticking off on the outside. So make sure you have your paper flipped over like this so you can really see all of the little pieces that are not meant to be there anymore. You can just cut right off. And now I have a nice, beautiful, non-objective piece of artwork that's kind of really attached to the front. Um, okay, so the last part of this project 
is to outline our finished design. So take whatever you're do using, whether it's crayon, oil pastel, marker, whatever, and we are going to go around everything, tracing around everything to create a nice outline. So when you trace, you wanna make sure you can feel the edge of the paper of whatever you're tracing around. You don't wanna have a big gap in between them. You wanna make sure nice and close to it so that you create a nice thick black line around it. And you're gonna do this for everything that you have and always try to create a nice thick outline. So you don't wanna have a gap in between. If you do, you just need to go back over it again so that you don't see that gap. Outlining and you end up going like this where there's a bit of a gap there for example I have this bit of space in between my paper and the line I drew just go back in and fill it in so that it's black all the way up to it so that it really looks like a nice solid shape now if that means that your line looks thicker than some of the other lines you did that's okay having some that are thick and some that are thin actually make your picture a little bit more interesting. As you can see, this side's a lot thicker than the other side, but it just makes the work a little bit more interesting to look at. All right, and there we have it, our finished Nicholas Krushenik inspired collage. Um, I hope you guys had fun making this with me and I can't wait to see what sort of patterns and colors and arrangements you came up with.